So which cards are likely to get banned, or rather, taken care of out of Rarity Collection 2? Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome. We're going to start off over with IP and Apo. Um, these two cards have been... They're... The, the fears of the first Rarity Collection 1 and them coming down and banning something. People are just crazy. Now, IP is, is a likely candidate. I mean, sure, making an Apple during your opponent's turn, making an SP Little Knight during your opponent's turn for that interruption. And, you know, I understand. That's frustrating. I get it. But it's just that. Apple having, you know, three negates being made on your opponent's turn, you know, multiple monster negates on the same card after what, like a four card, three card dedication to it. I get it. It's these are frustrating cards to deal with. But I still and I've said this in other videos, I I don't think that this is going to these will be the candidates. Now I mean, I don't, looking at SP Little Knight, I mean, I guess we could technically ban that card. It's very good, the best Link 2 in the game. But, you know, having an IP to make the SP for the interruptions, I guess that could be deemed as problematic. But for now, I think there's a lot of fears kind of going around. A lot of people are just, they, they, they're out for, you know, the hypothetical, the, the, we need to feed the ban list, you know, we need to get rid of these cards. And, I mean, sure, having IP gone from the game would make the game a little bit more interesting, but if you take out Apo, you know, at links, I mean, <laughs> they just kind of just kind of fall to the wayside, honestly. Um, and I think I, anything is possible on this, uh, but the infinite amount of discussions I've read for people just out for, you know, the hypothetical feeding to the ban list is so crazy. But technically, these are both candidates. I don't see why they would take care of these now. But okay, <laughs> whatever people think is going to happen. Next up is Red Eyes Dark Turgoon. Are, are you are you kidding me? I I had even debated talking about this card because Dark Dragoon has fallen so far off of the power creep wagon over here. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, um, you're already playing a brick or two. Like, let the let the Dark Magician player over here that, you know, is playing... Uh, I think the latest in incarnation that I saw, even remotely considering playing Dragoon outside of Branded, was just we're, we're trying it in a Buster Blade or Dark Magician Turbo deck. It did top of Nationals. And that's pretty impressive to think about out here that, you know, you can hard make this thing and get value off of it. But, you know, Dark Dragoon has become so easy to handle, all right? Dragoon has been a stronger boss monster at every other junction in this format, except for in this very instance, where I personally think that the card is at the weakest it has been across the meta, all right? And to think that people look at Dragoon right now and they go, it's time. We're going to finally ban Dragoon. And it's like, but why would we ban a card that, okay, sure, it's a mild inconvenience. Just drop out the shit out of that thing, all right? It's running around the format. Most of the boards that I see that end up making the Dragoon usually have one card in their hand. Oh, boy, now I have to deal with a 4K boss monster. That is not the hardest thing in the world to do. All right, yeah, some decks still have a problem with Dragoon. Oh, big whoop de doo there are, You're always going to have a problem with some sort of boss monster in the game. I just think looking at Dragoon right now and going, this is the time to ban it because it got the reprint, is a terrible thing. It has done nothing to warrant it as of the last, personally, three formats. But evidently, what do I know? Now, this one is an interesting one. Draw and Lockbird. Currently, Draw and Lockbird is out of rotation in the format. I mean, people are still playing it. It doesn't necessarily stop it, but you know, you'll notice when Draw and Lockbird's in the format, there's there's a lot of searchability. Also, you know, Nib is kind of taking a back seat for a little bit out here as well. But when you're looking at the format, you know, Draw has gotten compared to our Max C for quite a while. Uh, for quite a while, I've, I've made that comparison too. Um, the thing that people hate with Droll is it is an auto systematic stop button that forces the opponent to get no more searching for their turn. In formats where there is such heavy searching, especially with these future, you know, 
Fiendsmith combos, search abilities, all these splashable engines. Droll is the thing that gives you that chance to smash the button and go, no, no more. We still have um, Crossout at three. Uh, but to look at this now and go, hey, <laughs> Droll's been reprinted for the 30,000th time. Eh, Konami's going to ban it. Yes, they are. It's like, no, they're not. If they wanted to ban Droll, once again with the same Dragoon thing out here. There were much scarier times in the time of these cards being at their pinnacle. Droll being one of those at the scarier points out here that I don't foresee Konami cleaning this up because it's kind of become a necessary evil in the course of the game. And unfortunately, as much as you might want Droll gone because it... There's the one guy at your local is inconveniences you right now because the card's out of, you know, season. And like, I'm just, I'm, I'm losing to it. And it's like, stop it, all right? Sorry you lost to Droll. Why are you not playing an out to it? Wait, you don't believe in playing the out because you don't want to play crossouts so that they're now $2? That's what happens. Skill Drain. Now, this is a very interesting one as well. Um, <laughs> Skill Drain has been at three for a long time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. Um, we have seen, obviously, Runic Stun was the real first perpetrator that kind of comes to my mind out here that, it, you know, people look at with this and they're like, please just ban Skill Drain, like, or, you know, just put it to one so we don't have to deal with this. Snake Eyes has been the other deck that I've kind of seen showcasing it in side decks. Um, I've seen it as a two to three of an unjust side decks. That's honestly, it, it's been about it. Runic Stun and in the small numbers of it running around have been playing Skill Dream. Um, and those, those are it. I mean, you'll have like an off shot, like Dark World deck every hundred events or so that'll show up playing this. But I think the reason why Konami left Skill Drain in our format was because Konami wants to promote back row removal. Um, by having Skill Drain present in the format, you know, you're going to be forced to make some side deck decisions in terms of making that, you know, you need to play around the card. And if you remove too many of these sort of cards in the game, you know, it kind of, I guess, becomes an issue and you kind of run into some bad things. I almost want to think that Skill Drain has kind of been like a saving grace to the TCG in some ways. Um, I, I'm not going to sit here and justify it. I do think the card should probably have gone to one a very long time ago. I, I did my part. I played Runic Stun as much as I could. You know, being like, this card's bad. Get rid of it. I, and that's that's genuinely the best way to go about it. If you want to see some change, just, you know, you know, hop on the wagon and get some results. And, you, you know, the more the, the, the deck gets pushed in the spotlight, the most likely it is to get banned. I did my part. I tried. Um, but... That is likely at this point. And then, of course, we're back on the old ban the old access code talker out here. There was a time when I did say access code talker should have probably gone. I uh, still kind of stand by that at that era that, you know, 5,300 burst damage as a board breaker card. I uh, The funniest thing I could see Konami doing out here, if they actually chose to go after access code talker and ban it, you know, they could just design a new Link 4 that does pretty much the same thing and just swindle all of us into buying it with a slightly different flavor. Oh, imagine, you know, it's an old it's an old quick effect banish one once per face up on the field. And then guess what? Yeah, you could pop and negate its effects. Um, that, that'd be a... I wouldn't, wouldn't say it'd be the best idea to do that, but Konami has somehow found a way to power creep a lot of this stuff. I do not think at this point in time Axis Code Talker is one of the potential hits, but I, I've read out here from a few people on the shitter webs that they've been like, um, I think Axis Code Talker is going to get banned right now. And here's my 10 page doctoral thesis as to why this card is an absolute menace. And you know what? I think I've seen I think I've seen Axis Code Talker dropped once out of a five round local last week come to think about it it won a game and that was it and you're dedicating slots to it um every once in a while I'll come up as like a board breaker i gotta i gotta clean this problem up but i i don't think it, it's a it's a board break go second push for game card and that's it like there's no other justifiable reason to go after it but what do you guys think please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think 
And which of these likely candidates do you think it is to get banned? You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.